Hi, this is Sage of the Stage, and today I'm going to do a reaction to a song called Oceans by Hillsong United. I've been wanting to do this song for quite some time, and uh, with everything happening in the world, I just think that this might be the best time to do it. You already know that I'm a vocal coach, I'm a vocal professor, I teach singing in a music high school, I also teach piano, and I will analyze this song uh, in general. I will start from the vocals and just talk a little bit about the arrangement and why I think this song is great. So without further ado, let's go straight to the video. It's, it starts with a violin imitation. I wouldn't say that's a real violin, that's probably a synth violin. But her voice is just perfect for this song. Nice, nice. And the song is just very meditative. Enjoy the sound of the guitar. The one that's, you know, playing one note at a time. Now we have a bit of a build-up. I like how she's uh, letting the crowd interact uh, with the song. Uh, when we're talking about CCM music, the emphasis is usually in the participation with the song. So the songs uh, aren't that complex, let's say, in uh, harmony and structure. They are intended to help people, you know, interact in the concerts, to sing, to pray. And I think that's a wonderful way to go on about these songs. Let's listen more. I will talk about that a bit more in a minute. just like those little details in her voice. It's almost like she's pleading for help when she's singing. That's what I'm saying. She's communicating with the, with the crowd here. And if that doesn't happen, then this song doesn't mean anything. Very nice, very nice. And the melody of this part is just beautiful. Keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise. It's just beautiful. I'm really into the sound quality. The way the snare is building up here. It's just amazing. Okay, sorry. I thought he was playing that on the snare because uh, the snare was playing in the studio version. Uh, I thought I heard the snare there, but it's actually a hi-hat sound. But nevertheless, it's building up the song, it sounds great, and it, you, you know just something epic is going to happen. The drums are just making this song even more powerful. Okay, so I wasn't too wrong. This guy was playing on the floor, Tom, and that kind of fooled me a bit there. So the hi-hat on the floor, Tom, is just making this song build up. Okay, so I like this part in the song where everything fades down and you just have four chord and you just have four chords. And now she's improvising here. She's kind of saying a little prayer here. I think that's what we need right now in the world. Spirit, me where my trust is I just love this song. I, I love this part, especially. You can hear the crowd participating. Of my 
Okay, can you hear those little details in her voice? It's almost like she's pleading for help. Uh, she's singing, it's a bit throaty, and I'm guessing that's that's the way you need to sing these songs. Uh, so this is not a song where she will, you know, explode and show her amazing vocals. She might do that if she feels the need, if she's, you know, if she's really into the moment and it, it grabs her, it just, you know, makes her want to do that. This is more like a song to meditate to. It's more of a relaxed song, you know. And what I like about this part that's coming next, it's these four chords. They are always going in the same progression and they will, you know, repeat them as much as they want. And I guess they're never performing it twice the same way. Uh, it depends on where they're doing the concert, uh, how much the crowd is involved. Because this is the part of the song that you can repeat like a million times or you can repeat it just like twice or four times. It depends on how much people are getting involved in the song. And I think that's a pretty cool thing with these songs is that you always leave space for being inspired. That's the meaning of these songs. Uh, they are here to, you know, to awake that little something inside of us to try to make us better people, better believers and just, you know, help each other out because we're now currently with everything happening in the world, uh, we just can use all of the help we can get. A lot of us are staying home, a lot of us are worried. Some of you maybe have friends or have relatives, maybe they're not healthy. That's why I think this song is, uh, you know, that this is the best time to talk about these stuff. Let's listen. I really like those falsetto breaks there. Mm, I'm just getting the goosebumps here. Deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith will be made stronger. The presence of my Savior. The song is arranged in a great way. It just allows everybody to participate. It has those slow build-ups. One thing I really like about this song, you know, in this part, it just I just have that need to speed up the song and you know just to express everything I feel in that uh, in that moment. But that doesn't allow, the rhythm doesn't allow that. So I have the feel to speed up the song and you know, to explode with emotion. It keeps a steady tempo, but it builds up in energy, it builds up in dynamics. I think that's a great way to explode, but still keep it very controlled, you know. Uh, we're humans. We don't have to be animals. You don't want to, you know, explode and just scream because I don't think that would be appropriate. But you have that feel, you have that energy. You really want to say something that you can't say with words. So you say just by singing the song, you know. It's, it's not only about the words. It's about the way... It's about the way you say them. It's about the way you sing this song. Again, the arrangement of the song is pretty amazing. It has the strings. It has the synth pads. It has a beautiful sounding guitar. It has a small but very important bolts up on the drums. When I'm listening to CCM, usually what I'm thinking is, man, they really have the best production in the audio today. They really work so much on the songs to make them sound perfect. And it usually has this arena rock vibe, you know, it's almost like a U2 thing, uh, which I really enjoy. And I just think this is a beautiful song. Even the growl there. You know, everybody is singing. If that doesn't happen, then the song doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's just the build up is great. Awesome vocals there. Whoa. That's some crazy good belting there. Very nice. But she belted a lot of those high notes, but look how she uh, 
how she went back a little bit. She didn't let her become the center of attention for a long time, you know? She allowed the music, she allowed the moment to expand to everybody, uh, for everybody to be important. Uh, I think that's a good choice. Uh, she could have just went on soloing for a long time, and that would sound great in a musical term, but in the term of uh, everybody listening and everybody participating, it would kind of maybe feel a little bit selfish. She did it, in my opinion, in a good amount. She didn't overdo it, and that's what I enjoy when uh, when singers, when players know know their place, when they're not overdoing something, and when they're putting the song first and the people first. That's what I really love. Again, with the same part, but very, very stronger in the emotion and in the dynamics. You can notice that this song is repeating a lot of the parts, but never in quite the same way as the first time. Every time is just a little bit different in the singing, in the playing. and it just helps everybody get involved. But the vocals are great. She's really making the song, you know, level up. Great, great. Awesome. Wow, those are some amazing vocals from Taya Smith there. I mean, the belting, the participating, just the overall delivery of the song. You can see that she's where she wants to be. She's completely in the moment, she's completely in the song, as well as other players here are. I mean, this is just a perfect blend of how the band should sound when they're playing together. The music is just locked in the beat, in the rhythm very well. And, and it just serves the song. It just serves a purpose. I like seeing the crowd singing the song. It just warms my heart. I think this is a beautiful thing. So now we're at the part of the song where everything fades down a bit. Again with this pre-chorus thing, I would say. And this is probably my favorite melody part of the song. Very nice. It's just a beautiful piece of music. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Even the guitar part is just doing the purpose. This is just one of those songs that can, you know, last forever and it wouldn't be boring. Wow, that was just great. Tasmith did a really wonderful vocal job. You can just see that she's a great singer. There's no doubt about it. And uh, just to have somebody like her and just to have the combination of good musicians and a good singer and to have everybody participate in the song, to have a song that's structured that well to make everybody uh, participate very easy, that's just a wonderful thing to do. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this song. Uh, it means a lot to me. It's a really nice song. Even if you're not into this kind of music, uh, I think you can appreciate it from its musical value because it just has a beautiful melody. It has a beautiful arrangement. And I, I just think it's a wonderful song. If not anything else, then at least to relax to. I just like it. I hope you do too. If you enjoyed it, like this video, share with your friends, consider subscribing, that would mean a lot to me. And stay safe everybody, stay inside. I hope these videos are something positive that you can come to and just relax a bit and not to worry about everything all the time. I know it's kind of hard, but this is my little contribution to making everything just a little bit more positive for everybody. I hope you find it in a good way. Anyway, what can I say? I enjoy having you here. You look wonderful and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.